Hey guys, it's me, Bernie Burn. Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm new reviewing episode 7 of What If. Also, my neighbors are still getting work done to their house. I originally thought, oh, they're just getting something for their roof. Nope, they're remodeling their entire house. So yeah, <laughs> but into the actual episode. So, I thought it was very good. Uh, I don't, I don't know if it was better than Killmonger and Iron Man. I, I, maybe like the same level, maybe. Like, I loved all the characters and references in this episode. I thought those were really fun. And I loved Thor's personality in this episode, too. Uh, you know, how he was all, you know, not selfish, but, you know, he was all cocky and uh, immature. And I really liked that. And we got to see Frost Giant Loki, which, I mean, I know we've seen him before, but, like, never in his proper Frost Giant form. It was very cool. Get it? Oh, and uh, I just want to make this 100% clear. Jane Foster and Party Thor totally banged. And we're desperately trying to capture the girls. And the ending, dude. Like, I love all of the endings to these What If episodes. Like, some of them are, I think, are a little too dark for my liking. Uh, like, Zombies was very dark, and, you know, I wanted to see the heroes actually win, but... <laughs> nope. But, it like, it seemed like, for this episode, it was gonna be another happy ending. Oh, I mean... Another happy ending. And then, like, the Watcher was like, And so they lived happily ever after. Uh, but then you see this portal, and it's Ultron in Vision's body. Now, of course, we knew this was coming from promotional material and all. But, like, still. Like, that that's insane. Marvel is so good at hyping stuff up. Like, especially since, like, even the Watcher sounded like he was scared of this. Like, I mean, it's a universe hopping Ultron with all six Infinity Stones in Vision's body. So, yeah, I'd be pretty worried, too. I don't know how. And spoiler alert, I don't know how the, the heroes are going to team up and stop him. But we'll see. But yeah, I just hope the payoff is worth it. And the fact that the Watcher was scared of Ultron Vision definitely plays into that theory, fact, we know at this point, that the Watcher is going to interfere and bring all the heroes together to defeat Ultron Vision and his minions. Like, if you still don't think the Watcher's going to interfere, I don't know what else will convince you. Oh, I just thought of something. What if... So Ultron Vision has all six stones. The Soul Stone, what if in order to get it, he had to sacrifice Wanda? I mean, it would make sense, because if Ultron went into Vision's body before the Avengers took it over, then he wouldn't love Wanda. Or maybe, like, he'll torture Red Skull for the stone. I don't know. Could be interesting. And it will be interesting. Now, something that's very pog, I didn't get spoiled for this episode's premise. Uh, Marvel did that thing where they tweeted on Monday again. No clue why, but I didn't see it. My friend, you know who you are if you're watching this video, almost spoiled it for me, but luckily I spammed pictures of Agent John Jones kissing Midas from Fortnite uh, into our chat, so... That stopped it. And I actually predicted the episodes, like, this one next and the last one, I predicted them correctly. Obviously, uh, well, not obviously. I said this week's would be Party Thor, and it was. I Obviously, next week would be Ultron Vision. And then season one will probably end up with that finale. So that was really nice. That's a nice ego boost. You know, I originally thought that the uh, Party Thor, he would come from in Thor 1 whenever Odin banished him to uh, Earth, that Thor would land in Vegas. Uh, and that he would just be... Party Thor. And then maybe he would forget about his Asgardian life. I don't know. But I, I wouldn't say I'm glad that we got if Thor was an only child because it works, I guess. But I, I definitely think that banishing from Odin from Odin 1, from Thor 1, would have been better, in my opinion. But yeah, uh, I love this episode. I'd say it was an 8 out of 10. It was definitely a fun watch. And I'll probably go watch it again while I'm doing my homework. But yeah, that was it for this video, guys. Uh, and yeah, I'll see you guys next week. Peace.